No, I did not. Yeah, well, that that happened Friday, and the, and they went to uh, interrogate. Well, I call it an interrogation if you got a summons, uh, because of this uh, uh, jailed Yukos chief. His name is Chortakowski. Ch- 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 Chortakowski. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What yeah, is yeah, the yeah, point? Yeah. What's the point, Steve? Well, the, the point is, I think this is like the Jewish lobby influencing American policy because really it's an internal situation, and. Uh, this, this Nord Stream par, uh, pipeline, nobody wants that or for, the, for the gas, uh, natural gas, because uh, as Sweden said, they'll use that platform there as an espionage site. So what I think is I think it's, it's uh, uh, some kind of influence peddling, just like that Jane Harmon case. Okay. All right. Um, Bob, anything you want to add to that? Well, it's hard to get a hand around exactly what they're doing, but all I can explain is they spend – uh, 24 hours a day uh, finding ways to mislead the public, whether it's about what the U.S. government is doing, as Congress is doing, uh, what the Israelis are doing, what the Russians are doing. Uh, you know, you've got to sit down full time try to figure out the machinations that these people collectively are up to. Yeah, you're right. Thank you very much, Steve, for the phone call. Now to go to John Stokes, the John Stokes um, of KGEZ, The Edge. Welcome, John, to the Power Hour today. I'm, I'm humbled just to be in such great company as you, you three. Oh, you are so Bob, kind. I got Bob Chapman's newsletter this weekend, and, Bob, uh, you're saying things that um, – that are blatantly obvious, but no one seems to be picking up on. Is like the Chinese are buying. Okay, hold, hold, of- hold through the break. We got a three minute break, and we'll be right back with John Stokes from The Edge. We'll be right back. Stay tuned to the Power Hour. I tell you, that's becoming such a cliche. It's almost lost all meaning whatsoever. You hear, wake up, America. How many decades have we been hearing about that, and still people sleep? Welcome back to the Monday edition of the Power Hour. This is Dave. And Joyce, thank you for joining us on the Power Hour today. The swine flu pandemic could cost trillions. Could cost whom trillions? And could make trillions for whom? That's the question. Anyway, that's a headline on uh, Freedom's Phoenix today. We're talking, though, to John Stokes in Montana, at KGEZ. He is the um, uh, owner of KGEZ The Edge, which is the main listening station of entire Montana, I think. Almost everybody that's in the know listens to The Edge. And, John, I have to ask you, and by the way, uh, I want you to give the website out for your um, uh, for your station. And also, have you heard anything about Montana seceding from the Union? John, are you there? Where did John Boy go? Oh, man, we got to get him back on. i got to ask him that question about secession. And uh, I think it's uh, just go to The Edge, uh, The Edge, K-G-E-Z. Google it, and it'll bring up their website, and you can see all the incredible programs they have there, which is no wonder that uh, Montana is so well-educated in that area. They carry a lot of the Genesis programs. All right, let me go to Carol. John, you go ahead and call back when you can. Let's go to Carol in Oklahoma. Carol, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hi. Hi there. Uh, Bob, I uh, wonder if what light you can shed on the manipulation and the lawsuit that's ongoing about the uh, downward pressure being put on the silver market, and tell me what you know about that. Well, in the silver market, there are two major banks which are short an enormous amount of silver contracts, uh, equal to about three years' production. And the CFTC is investigating that. They've been doing that for the last eight months. And the rumor or the preliminary word, if you want to call it that, is that it is offsetting contracts on the long side of the market, which they've made in derivatives, which is a hidden, unregulated uh, market. And so uh, evidently, the CFTC is, is happy with their explanation. One, in fact, the CFTC is part of the government, and the CFTC does exactly as the government tells them to do. So uh, going through the CFTC, Commodity Futures Trading Corporation, which is a government agency, is a waste of time because behind the uh, attempted manipulation of silver is the United States government. And the same is true in the gold market, there's three big shorts in the gold market, and they're three big banks. And 
that same excuse is used. Now, one of the interesting things that is not occurring in the silver market but is in the gold market is they have two types of inventory. One is registered and the other is open for delivery. And the registered isn't for sale. It belongs to people who keep it there, so to speak. And the uh, amount of gold that is available uh, for delivery for this month, uh, and we're going to find this out by the end of the week, is about 50% of all the gold that they have that is qualified for delivery. Now, whether all of these people will eventually, who have already said they want to, take delivery will remain to be seen. They may, under pressure, opt for taking cash instead. But if they were to all take delivery, uh, by the end of June, what was deliverable would have been wiped out. Okay, we're going to be right back after this one-minute, ten-second break. And uh, thank you, Carol, for the phone call. We'll go to Tony in Arkansas, Kenny from Wisconsin. Hopefully we'll have John Stokes back from the edge. Stay tuned to the Power Hour, one minute, ten seconds. This is Joyce and Dave. Broadcasting from the most confused, dumbed down, manipulated, and brainwashed nation on the face of the planet with all the news they hope you never hear. This is the Power Hour. Hour number three is now in session. down the path that leads to the truth. This is Dave. And Joyce, thank you for joining us in the Power Hour today. We're talking to Bob Chapman. He is the editor of the newsletter, The International Forecaster. You can go to his website, theinternationalforecaster.com, or call for a free complimentary copy of the newsletter, 877-479-8178. 877-479-8178. Let's go to Tony in Arkansas. Tony, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. It's an honor to speak with all three of you. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Tony. You're so kind. Huge oh, fan of you all, and uh, especially Bob. I uh, definitely keep you all deep in prayers. And oh, thank you. I had to call in today because I feel like this is a test, my gut feeling. I think SARS was a bit of a run, and now they're having a test with the, with the flu, the swine flu, but it could be the full-born thing. I think one of the things they want to test, however, is the resolve of the patriot community, and one of the things yes. that may have... Uh, stopped or uh, uh, the SARS was a pushback from the Asian nations and and from some elements within our military and then the word getting out through the Patriot and the Truth movement and that's what we've got to do in the next 48 hours it is going to be critical that every person listening here get on every radio program write in to your congressman put that Baxter news story uh, in an inbox to your congressman and make sure you let everybody know this is an, an engineered disease it's not a natural occurring event we all know it is and we're not going to accept you know, martial laws are doing down in Mexico. We're not going to accept inoculations, but it's critical that we have a pushback right now in the oh, next yes. 48 hours, in my opinion. Tony, you are so right. I was talking to Greg Everson last night, who was uh, formerly a uh, uh, highway patrolman for a long time, and he was telling me this very thing. They want to see what our response is going mm-hmm. to be. They want to know if they can control us enough at this point, and I think they're going to find out no. And I think the information that Jim Percy is coming out with, and then we're in the next hour we're going to talk about John Harris from the U.K., People are finding out they're not part of this corporation, and this is so important oh, yeah. that people understand the corporation in that video that we have, which makes basically corporations into entities and makes us into a corporation. So, Tony, thank you very much. I cannot agree with you more. Get the word out. This is engineered. This is created. This is wrong, and we need to get the real bad guys that would do such a thing. Thank you very much, Tony. Let's go to Kenny in Wisconsin. Kenny, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. Beautiful segue into what I was going to say. Okay. United States of America, Incorporated, a legal fiction, and corporations function on bottom line profit. The U.S. citizen is a corporate asset, 
And when you have non-productive corporate assets, you liquidate them. Ooh. I'll listen off air. <laughs> oh. All I can say, you're, you're absolutely right, Kenny. You're absolutely right. Get the movie The Corporation. It explains all of this, ladies and gentlemen. And we have it at the Power Hour. And liquidate can be taken several different ways. Let's go to John Stokes. <laughs> Let's go to John Stokes. Speaking of Let's go to John Stokes and The Edge in Montana. John, welcome back. You know, there's so much NSA stuff going on. I think we got cut off. <laughs> but, but I'd like oh, to you're Bob, conspiratorialist. Uh, he's, he's right on target about uh, um, the Chinese buying hundreds of tons of gold. Have they publicly stated that their currency is going to be backed by gold? Because I notice more and more worlds or countries around the world are starting to use their currency as a reserve. 